Hi there YouTube, it's me, Jack here from Alpha Thick Gaming, and today I'm showing you guys a uh, Modio 4 beta, a uh, full tutorial. Um, in this video I'll be showing you how to mod any game, and we'll go through all the parts, like, say, I'll be sharing some mods with Modern Warfare 3, uh, maybe some Battlefield 3 ones and all that. Now, to get to this place where I am at the moment, the link will be in the description, or you can just type in on your search bar, uh, Modio, uh, you don't need to put anything, it's just Modio, um, and there'll be one called Download Modio Free from Mediafire, or you can download the Modio 4 Beta, which is open to everyone, which I am going to be showing you, which I find is pretty better than Modio Free, obviously. But yeah, let's get let's get started. Um, now to start off with, um, I put all my stuff in one area, which would be mods. Uh, here it is. Let's just drag it out. Um, now just to show you, it has no viruses, which some people would want me to do. Um, I'm using the AVG. Uh, full version which I paid for so it's going to be properly secure. There you go, no infection. Let's drag that up. Um, right, for some reason it won't let me log in but I'm not sure if that's important or not. Um, now as you can see it's a different home page of Mario 4 uh, beta which is still in beta obviously and yeah. Now what you wouldn't see in Mario 3 is just a load of new stuff, like uh, all these new stuff that's just come up, so just learn how to and all that. Now, what I'm. Let's minimize this. What I want to do to start with is open from a device, which would be my USB. Um, I would recommend a USB with about 3 gigabytes of memory. Now, I have two games here Red Dead Redemption and Skyrim. Um, let's have a look of what I have. I'm going to do Skyrim because this seems to have better stuff. So let's mod my Skyrim save number three. This is it. All right. Now you don't really need to play with any of this at, at the moment. Now once you have this open, it should open a new tab in the Modio 4 uh, client with this new up with the name of your save, and just keep all this. Now you want to go back to your home page and go to download saves. Which I need to be signed in. <laughs> Alright, hold on a sec. Yeah, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. I just dragged it out by accident. Um, yeah, so go to download saves. Um, this might take quite a while, I'm not sure why, it might be some bu bugs within the beta and all that all right. so I've just realized that if you scroll with your mouse button it changes everything but let's just keep it here um, there I have the buffering thing for some reason um, but let's just carry on now I want to look for some Skyrim mods, so what I'm going to do is go to the search bar down here or if your game is already on the front page, um, you can go on that and I'm just going to type in Skyrim they don't need to be capital letters or anything like what I've done, they could be any uh, type, so it could be a small letter and everything just wait for this Alright, here we go. Alright, now what do we have? We have tons of them which go all the way down here. Uh, with the Skyrim mods, you can get stuff like Free Theme, which uh, people have actually made themselves. Uh, you can have some leveling mods and all the stats and everything. Yeah. Alright, so. I'm going to double click this one and it tells you in the description that people have written out what it does. 
So, uh, it tells you all this. So, health infinity, magicka infinity, stamina infinity, skills, all 18 skills are up to level uh, 100. Perks, all the perks are selected. Got all spells, all shouts, all powers, all resistance. Uh, I'm not sure what the quest on the key. Oh, right, right, yeah. Uh, you got the carry weights and uh, you got gold, which is maxed out. Items, uh, yeah, I'd say that's the best armor, maybe. Yep, um, and yeah, that's it. So, if you like the save that you've got, which I think this one's pretty good, um, you want to download it. Don't do download and open, and I would recommend to save it to your desktop. Now you should have a little bar at the bottom uh, where it used to have download. That's just downloading your game save to the desktop. Now let's just wait for it to download, which should take about 20 seconds or so. Uh, just skip this bit if you want. But what I would recommend is to, uh, if you were going to download a save, I would uh, just look at how many likes it have. It has if it has like one like, I wouldn't bother. If it had about 317, what I am looking at at the moment, and 10,300 downloads, I would definitely recommend to download that one because obviously that one is what people like the most. We also have a comment page where people can comment on how they think this save is. Uh, so here we go, it works awesome. Yeah. So everyone seems to like it, so yeah. Alright, so it's downloaded. Alright, now this is where I want to go back to my home page. Open a save desktop. Look for that uh save that I've just downloaded, which is Panker. Here it is, double click that. It should open a new one. Alright, now you don't need download saves anymore, you can close that, and you all you need is these two. So what you want to do is uh, drag all of this and do control C or you can right click and do the new copy. Same with this one, but don't don't copy this one yet. Uh, what you want to do is do control V into this, which will copy your actual save. Not the one that you've just downloaded, the actual one that you've actually saved on your Xbox 360 and this is my ID. Then you would paste it into the modded one which I've just downloaded which is called Tanker Vendetta. Then you want to go back here Oops. copy all of this and do exactly the same. Control V or just do paste. Now I don't need this anymore, I can close up. Now I've got the modded save but that doesn't stop there. What you want to do is do rehash and resign a couple of times, don't do it just once because it can bug out. Just keep on doubling, double clicking it. Alright, it's done. Alright, now um, we'll do it. Now, if you find it a bit complicated of how I'm going to do it right now, it, it makes it work better, but I'm not saying that the one that I'm going to show you just now is bad. But what you can do is either do save to device, which is the easy way, or you can do it the better way, which I recommend which is to close this, go to open from device, oh, whoops, sorry, sorry, go to explore my device, should open a new tab, you want to double click this, uh, double click your USB, I think, no you don't, sorry, downloads, let's just have a look, hold on a sec, Um, I'm not sure where this is. Let's just click this. All right, yeah, I can open it by pressing this little open button here, and then I can scroll all the way down to here. This is it, and here it is. Um, I'm not sure what went on, but to be honest, I'll just do save the device, set your profile, and then it's saving it to your actual save but that's all you would do and it will save it uh, when you go back on I would select that um, 
yeah, I would select that game save that you've just modded, save to device. Uh, so my actual save was called auto save number three, I think it was. Um, and you would go on to that save on your Skyrim or whatever game it is. I'll make some more mod tutorials as well on different games, but you would double click that. Um, and yeah, you can start to mod on Skyrim and whatever game you like, unless you want me to make new tutorials on other games if you don't understand. But yeah, that's about it. So, rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and thanks for watching. Bye.